channel I am going to be doing a kitchen tour for you guys today it has been highly requested since moving in basically so I thought I would put together this little video right before Christmas um, it's one of my little uh, videos that I wanted to do for the end of 2023 so I'm gonna tick that one off my list and we did own a builder of this home so we moved in in February this year so 2023 we moved in February so now we are in November and yeah we are loving our home and I have had to take my time finding where I want everything in this kitchen so being owner builder we were able to select everything ourselves so I can take you through some of the selections that I had can't remember everything but I'll do my best and let's jump straight on in okay first things first these are our dining not dining chairs bar stools so we went with a bit of timber because we wanted to break up all of the white um, so this is I believe teak timber and then they've just got the white wefted bases um, I did however go with some of these little pillows they are filthy at the moment but these are for my kids I wanted to protect the seats as much as I could so I've gone with these bar stools just to break up all the white and I love them um, if you can see just down here if you're building as well put some extra power points in these are coming in so handy so that's just a great little like area to be able to put in um, for charging anything cooking I do a lot of baking so I do bake over in this area our big bench top that we chose that is actually um, not white it has like a um, detail in it that to me looks like a sanded concrete um, like ex what's it called um, just like a concrete look and I love it so much it obviously isn't white if you can see that it's got like kind of a shade of gray through it but it is not gray it's more of a cream um, it's a little bit later in the day I apologize the lighting is not great in here but I need to do this with the time that I have so I love this um, bench top it's great I really love it but our other bench tops are white so we chose to go a white over here and we just wanted to add a little bit of texture with our backsplash so we've just gone with the small tiles and then a bit of an oak trim above just to break up all the white and the overhead cupboards and then we've got floating shelves above here so that is um yeah sort of our color choicing and then color choice and then this is our um area where we do our washing up now we do have a pool on that so that's why we chose to have a large window just um, at our sink and then that way we could actually see the kids playing and all that we do have a little area here where we have a cubby in that at the moment we do plan to put a cubby over in that back area but at the moment that's just temporary so yes excuse the little mess out the back but this is our um, kitchen window where we do our washing up so that's why we don't have if you're wondering a sink on the middle island bench it's because we can have it overlooking back area so we have our dishwasher next to our sink and then over here is actually really good idea if anyone is um, also building these are bins so I won't get you too close because we don't want to look in our bins so we have our recycling and just our general waste so these are great ideas so that way kids don't get into it however ours are a little bit older now that's a great integrated dishwasher that's ASCO so it sits nice and neat and tidy in there this is our under sink area it's just very basic um, I've got a little um, lazy Susan that's what I put all my stuff in um, it's just great to keep everything easy and accessible some drawers there with all of my um, sponges and I've got that for my uh, garbage bags we've got a dustpan a watering jug fire blanket some wipes for just like the floor when I need it and they're the dishwashing tablets so I keep it very basic underneath there nothing overly pretty uh, we have over here a missing shelf that we chose to keep out so we put our drink bottles over here um, just because it's I find it really easy to access them there a little basket for whenever we need it and then all of my vases and some little candles that big cylinder there is full of our fruit and vegetable bags that we get sent I use that um, for bins for my salon 
Moving across, this is where I store my rice cooker. That's actually an Instapot. And then behind there is just a little um, saucepan, like a large crock pot, whatever they're called. Then I have my sandwich maker. So these are just like a very bland little area here. Um, and this big flower arrangement is my favorite thing ever. I had a florist make that for me and I love it so much. Um, it's just a great little area to put that because it's such a like plain area and it fills it so nicely. I originally had it on our dining table, but when I discovered it fit there perfectly, um, I originally wanted to get some floating shelves above here, but I think I'm gonna leave that for now because I really love where that is. So that's our sink area and we ended up going with a gooseneck tap and I love this because it's got a pull down hose and I think that is a genius idea. I think that's the best thing ever. I love this tap, it swivels. Um, and then we've got the two sides, two double sink. Um, I originally wanted one, however, I was determined to, um, yeah, take advice and whoever talked me into getting the two, I'm happy with because I can do lots of washing up, but also have an area to put some um, things to dry. We do have this drying rack. This is just from Pillow Talk, this little microfiber cloth. Um, it's like a little mat um, and that's just from Kmart. I just wanted something plain. And yeah, it's not the most aesthetic thing, but it's nice, neat and tidy. I like it because it keeps our stuff dry. Um, and these are great little handy little trays. I reckon everyone should have those. It just dries your sponges out so well. Um, this little tray is just holding our soap and our little brush. And then our tissue box is here and our large clock. So that is that side of our kitchen. And then we also have our fridge. I also have a mat. I should point that out. That's actually a bath mat. And I've only just come across the fact that I love mats. So this mat is just literally keeping our floor from getting too wet because it's right next to the dishwasher. Sometimes things come out a little bit wet. So that way it just keeps our um, floor dry if we're splashing over the sink. And then our fridge, I did just want to point this out if you are needing to get a fridge. I, Love that it's a double door because we have um, this walkway here. It's great to have uh, not so much of an opening. So it doesn't open. Does that make sense? So the fridge is uh, more narrow. And then we have a little water dispenser. And the best thing I have ever bought in my life is a fridge with an ice maker. I love that so much. So if you're also, yeah, that's a bottom freezer. If you're looking for a fridge i recommend the double door i just think they always look so much nicer um and they just fit perfectly and then just for walkways you can access the walkway easier okay now we're going to move over to the overhead cupboards we have touch um we have no handles on our cupboards so that's why we push them so this is just a glassware cupboard that's just where i keep my cups um champagne wine glasses etc I did keep my coffee cups out here, but all of my things are in the um, pantry that I'll show you in a minute. And then we have this large cupboard. This is our um, range wood. However, it takes up a lot of space. So we've just used it for some of these little um, drink coolers. That's just a big knife block that we don't generally use, but sometimes we do. And then we have some alcohol stored above. And then moving uh, across, we have just our floating shelves that breaks up all of the white cabinetry that I really love. And this is just like a devil's ivy. I could be wrong. I don't think it is devil's ivy. It's like a cousin or whatever to the plant. Um, I forget my plant names, but I love that. It just breaks up all the white. I love that it hangs down. And all of my little decorative things are just white. And that's just a little drink holder as well. Moving down, we have a little lamp from Kmart. I love that it gives a bit of warmth in the room of a night. And the, we do have the strip light above. However, it can be a little bit too bright. So that's why I like the little light um, of a night. It just gives us a nice little cozy feel for the house. Um, and I just feel like, it. yeah, it's just nicer. I like the feel of it. Um, then I have my little 
oil caddy. This is great just for keeping everything nice and tidy. Um, it's sort of just like, you know, covers the labels and all of that. Um, but I just love that it breaks up all the white as well. That's just a little um, spoon holder. I just picked that one up from Country Road. I just like that it's plain. And then we went with the induction cooktop. It's just, I like it because it's easy to wipe down, but it's not my favorite to cook with. So Lucas wanted the induction, so I was happy just to go with it, just to trial it out. Yeah, but I like it for cleaning. Then we went with the large double oven. I really love the size of it. I can fit so much in, like when we're cooking our pizzas for the whole family, we can fit it all in. So I love um, our large oven and we're getting close to Christmas. So I just chucked a couple of nice um, little tea towels out. Um, and this little tray is just from Kmart. It's just a little marble tray. I just wanted to break up all of the um, just plain white and I wanted to add a little bit of a texture. So that one's just from Kmart. Um, I, can't, I think this is just from Target, this little tray. It's just got some salt in it. This little pot um, I bought from Newcastle. I'll link it in the description box. I can't remember what it's called, um, but it is very heavy. It's a large marble, so it was quite expensive. And then we've got these salt and pepper shakers in the darker timber, which I don't love, but I loved them when I bought them. So I'm just happy that I've kept them, but it has sort of blended in with this paper towel, paper towel holder. Um, and I just use paper towel so much and the kids access it on the edge of the bench here. So that's why I keep it there because it's just realistic. And I feel like it's nice and neat and tidy. So that's our top bench here. Um, and then in our drawers, I'll just run through quickly. So this is a drawer. This is something new that I've recently done and I bloody love it. So these are all my spices. I do quite a fair bit of cooking, so there will be more spices coming, but I love my drawer. So this has just been a lifesaver because I only just picked these up from Amazon. These were not expensive. Like I think these trays, the bottles, the stickers, they all came together. It comes with a little flute to put the um, all the seasonings in. And I believe it was only like 40 something dollars and I got, I received it literally within a week. Um, so I'm stoked with that. It was very, very happy. It just makes everything so much easier to access, nice and neat and tidy. And that's just my salt for my salt pot. And then temperature um, thermometer, we've got scales and we also use gloves for any of our meat. This is our pots and pans. Love our pots and pans. And then we have our strainers and graters. And then down below, this is something that since I've done my first hosting party, this is my new dinnerware and cutlery and then placemats. This is for just special occasions. Then moving over, this is more like my bakeware. So our baking trays and then our muffin tins, our little cooling rack, slice baking breads, blah, blah, blah. So that's all that baking stuff. Uh, this is like our casserole dishes and mixers, measuring cups and rolling pins. Like I said, this is just more of my baking drawers. And then below is like my mixing bowls and then some cake pans and a large um, oven pan. So they're all of my baking drawers. Then we're moving across to our island bench. And this is my glad wrap and sandwich bags and all of that. Um, very basic, that drawer. Then we have some Tupperware. These are the kids' lunch boxes. Just some, um, what are they called? Like disposable ones whenever we have visitors. Then we also have some more Tupperware down below. And then we've got quite a few, so they're all um, no handles. So that's just one of our cutlery drawers. We have some large bowls in this one. And then just a few of the smaller trinkety little containers that we have. I just keep them in baskets. Then this is my main drawer that I would usually go to. Like I really like this little layout the bamboo organizer. It's really good because it pulls out. 
Um, so all of my serving things, this is the best thing ever. If you need something specifically in the kitchen, this is a garlic crusher. It is the best thing ever. I love it. Um, and yeah, so this is a little bit of an area that I sort of store things that I do use the whisk, but I just sort of shove them up the back just to keep that from moving a little bit. But I really like keeping things somewhat organized. These are just our plates and some of our bowls. A few extra bowls and there are placemats. Moving up, we have our cutlery. These are just where we'd store our cutlery. Do have some things in the dishwasher at the moment, so there's some things missing, like some teaspoons. Uh, but I just keep these bowls here just for extra like clips, our little corn um, holders, and these clips for like any of our bags of chips or whatever that we also need. These are just the kids' drawers, plates, bowls, cups. I just like that the kids can access this themselves if they need. And then our tea towels and um, tablecloths, the kids' bibs when they need it, when they're eating messy meals. And then just to show you, these are my rugs that I have. That is just from Kmart. It's just a jute rug. I really love that it gives it a nice cozy feel to the kitchen. I feel like it's a large room. So just wanting something to be able to be nice and warm underfoot. And then it actually, it really does give it a nice cozy feel. Um, and I think I specifically said about this one as well. This one just keeps our floor nice and um, dry. So this one is literally a bath mat. Um, it's a little bit dirty at the moment. It just gets such a workout and I love it. Um, it's a, like a bit of a torpy color and that one's a jute. Um, but nothing stays clean around here very long. So moving along, this is our walk-in pantry. I have done a video on our pantry before so if you want a more in-depth it's actually how i organized it if you want a more in-depth of our pantry you can go to that i'll tag that one um but basically this is our walk-in pantry and this is where i keep most of my stuff so that's why everything out here is nice and clean and tidy and then in here this is where we keep like our my coffee machine our toaster our blender our microwave and then under here is more storage and then above is all open shelving. Um, I really love that because I do, I've kept everything in um, some containers and they, these are our shakes and that. So that's what Lucas and I will have every day. They've come in really handy. Lucas loves that because usually they'd come in packets and you'd spill it all over the bench. So we love that we have put them in containers and they're easy to access. We've got our blender down here, our blender cup. So everything's nice and organized. And then moving across is all of my baking and then just any type of nuts and stuff. Extra little baking things are in these boxes. And then moving across is our pastas. Um, this is my little coffee area. So I've got cups, teas, and this is just, this is the deal at the moment. It always gets moved around. I'm known to move things around quite a lot in our house. So um, I do want to put a strip light under here, however, just because it can be quite dark over in this corner. Um, and I've kept it like this because I have my air fryer over here and then the toaster and all that. It just keeps things nice and neat and tidy um, over in the corners. And then, yeah, so this is my little coffee station. Uh, Christmas is coming, so I've just got a random tree there for the minute, but we will be decorating soon. So, and then we've got um, just my little microfiber broom. That is so handy. If That's a Norwex one, if anyone knows of that brand. They're so easy just to swivel around and clean up on the floor. And I just park it there because it's easier for me to access. And then, yeah, these are just our open shelving. This is where we keep all of our stuff. Um, yeah, so basically it's just a bit of ca ca uh, organized chaos, I'd call that. Um, but I just like the opened um, shelving. It's just something that I specifically like. Um, and yeah, we love our pantry because it's used so much. And I just feel like it's something that most families need because that way you can keep your kitchen nice and tidy and you don't have to keep everything out on the bench. So that's why I like our walk-in pantry. A few other features that I nearly forgot to mention um, are our overhead lighting. So we chose these really large rattan pendant lights and they're quite um, exposed. So they do throw a lot of light at nighttime. So that's why I said we usually have 
either the strip light or the little um, lamp on overnight because of all the exposure outside of the actual um, pendant. Uh, but I love those because they're just a nice feature. And then probably the best thing that we ever did was put in a skylight. So this is our skylight that we have put in and it has just created so much light in the room that it's just amazing. We love it because we had this designed by an architect and he just knew where to put the skylight. And I love that it's a large one um, because it's just given us the opportunity to have so much more light in here. And then across the room, we have big barn doors that leads us into our media room. It's currently like a little bit of a mess at the moment. So I just have it closed over just so it's nice and tidy, but it just adds a little bit of a detail, this little bit of a black trim here and our barn doors. Uh, comment below if you reckon that we need to get some handles for the doors. I think we should. Um, just something not too crazy, not too big, um, but some door handles just to, I don't know, just to add a little bit of something to the doors. But Lucas and I are on different pages about adding handles. So please do comment below if you think that we need to get some handles for there. I just think that will prevent us from uh, putting our fingers on the door all the time. Okay, guys, that is it for my kitchen tour. I hope I didn't ramble on too much. I hope I went through um, reasonably quick enough because I feel like sometimes these type of um, videos can kind of drag on too much. Like everyone specifically says where everything is. So if there is something that, that you liked in my kitchen and you want to know where I got it from, please do um, message me and ask me because I'll get back to you whenever I can. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed my video. I really, um, I'm very much, as you see me, I will never be anything other than who I am. So I hope that you enjoyed my kitchen and you enjoyed this video. So please do give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. And you'll be seeing me in our new video, um, Christmas, decorate with me. So very excited about that. I can't believe Christmas is nearly here, but. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.